My next one is uh, AVB2 or Animus Predator uh, Requiem. Now, a lot of people really don't like this movie and I can't understand why. I think the second one is much, much darker. Um, I think it stays more true to the aliens and predators and what they're about. They're not, you know, kind of friendly type of, you know, kid type predators. They're actually full on badass. And I think the actual aliens themselves are darker and more dangerous. And I think the filming and the cinematography is really fantastic. And I think it's this kind of a situation movie as well. I mean, it just the character you just see these characters going through their everyday lives and all of a sudden shit fucking out there's they got two you know they got an alien got a predator going against each other in the small town and they're going to just dealing with it at the same time you know the predator's tracking down this, this main hybrid um alien predator and the predators are willing to kill anyone gets in its way um there's a couple of characters that he kind of dodges but it's because he's no threat to him and i like the idea of that and it really works really well um i like the practical effects um i really appreciate that a lot Watching the extras, which I'm gonna move to the back here. I think this is one of the best extras for this type. I think the extras for this is really, really fantastic. I bought this for um, I think two pounds uh, pre-owned, and at the moment I saw it in the store, I instantly bought it. I didn't hesitate for a sec because I wanted the extras. I wanted the combat edition. I wanted to see what the extras were like, and they were worth the money. I watched every single extra on there. It's really fantastic. And uh, the making of the Alien VP2, um, which it really stays true to the actual movies. They looked about all looked at all the Alien movies, all the Predator movies. They did the best parts of the prosthetic work, and I did a couple of new ones. They used less CGI as physically possible. Obviously, there's a couple of scenes where you see certain things, but. Um, I think it's really fantastic. The fight scene at the end, that took a long, long time you know, to get the guy in the suit and the whole sequence of it and all that. Um, really, really fantastic and it stays true. And this is not, this is a really cool extra as well. It talks about the actual Predator movies and just, you know, how it links to this one. Just talking about, you know, the as an actual Predator movie themselves and talks about the Alien movies in a certain way. And it's there's a really good extra. It talks about the um, AVP2 science of the Xenomorphs and AVP2 science of the Hunters, which talks about if these creatures and aliens were an actual life today, how would they support it? You know, like aliens, the actual aliens themselves have massive blood. You know, actually looking at a scientific point of view, how would they actually have blood in their system? You know, and how is it have it as a, how is a creature? Would they actually manage to be moving around? It's interesting theory, oh, definitely. I, I really enjoy this movie more than the first one ever was. This is parts, but the first one I just don't like. I think it just feels and it just feels like a like a twelve A type thing. You know, uh, it just doesn't work for me. I've watched it enough times and I just don't enjoy it. I've watched this one, I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, I do understand that, yes, and there is a bit of bad acting in it from time to time, and there's a, there's a lot of dark scenes, which is, especially I think in the cinema, it would look really dark and it's hard to look at, but to be honest, I I look past that and I really, really enjoy it, so AVV2 probably will be in my collection, and I enjoy watching that movie, so there you go. Of course, I have my to go with my Predators and my AVB2 is my Alien box set. Yes, this is uh, all for Alien movies, director's cuts, extras, everything, all in this nice, nice, nice little box set. I picked this up uh, at Easter time, uh, I think many, many, many years ago. I think this was a present, I think. Uh, no, I think it was a gift, an Easter gift. Um, I got this and I got um, Alien vs Predator on DVD, the extended version at the same time. So I was, I, that was one of, one of the best days. I watched all those movies all back to back. I watched all the directors got special editions, I watched the extras, I watched Alien vs 2. At the time I still really, really enjoyed it. I loved it for that movie, what it was. As a kid, these movies are really, really fantastic and I enjoy watching them. Now, I understand that the actual Blu-ray um, has come out and it's meant to be a better picture and all that, and I agree, I've seen the quality and I will be in that at some point, but I like the packaging more, I like the actual way it looks, and I've had this for so many years and I, I'm attached to this box set, so I think um, I would only have the actual aliens alien films on blu-ray if it was like ridiculously cheap or is it maybe a birthday gift or christmas gift so you know i'm happy with the dvd quality at the moment i don't have to convert everything to blu-ray so in the meantime i'm going to stick to the alien dvd box set of course we have um avatar we have the extended collector's edition cup over there 
with the extended collector edition, which is uh, gives you both versions of the actually gives you three versions of the movie the theatrical cut, the, um, the slightly uh, um, longer versions with some scenes taken out, and the actual full on extended cut with everything in there, literally the old, the, the longest version possible. Which I prefer the extended cut because um, it shows you um, the start of the movie, uh, present day Earth. It's kind of like a Blade Runner type thing. It really, really works well. I, I like the actual future to go the Earth, I like the style of it. Cinematography wise, is fantastic. The technology is really fantastic. And the other thing I have about this the thing about this film is probably the storyline's a bit weak. I think it's a little bit of a rip off of Dancing with Wolves. If any of you've seen that movie. But don't get me wrong, I still really enjoy the movie. I sit down and I watch it for like the full version it is, I think. Um, so the full version. Yeah, the uh, extended cut is 170 minutes. I will sit down all in one go and watch that and watch that uh, full version in one day. I'm very happy to do that. And I do enjoy this movie. It, it is really good and the acting is great and cinematography wise it's really fantastic. Uh, James Cameron did, again, yet again, did another great job, and I think it is one of the biggest movies um, of that year, pretty much. I watched it in cinemas in 3D, and it actually was pretty good, pretty good in 3D, added extra depth and all that, and I was very, very happy with this 3D set. One thing I was pissed about was the releasing it, just, you know, bare bones edition, just the factual version, no extras, just the standard edition. And then releasing the full ver extended version with all the extras, I think that was a really psh, fucking asshole, you know, kind of money making scheme. But that's, you know, DVDs and Blu rays for you. Put the camera back there. <coughs> of course, we have, um, I'll show you that, uh, District 9 and uh, Bar Los Angeles. District 9, uh, again, yet again, is uh, in my still book collection video. Um, again, a really, really great film. Really happy to have this uh, steelbook edition. Again, I bought this at um, HMV, I think for £10. Um, it was literally gone the same day, kind of thing. Everyone was buying this steelbook. Really happy to have this in my collection. The extras are pretty decent as well. Um, it's, uh, for P. Davis and uh, uh, Peter Jackson, the Lord, uh, director of Lord of the Rings, of course. And it's amazing this was originally going to be the Halo movie, but believe it or not. You know, actually, that was the original idea, but they realised they just physically couldn't do it. It was kind of like, at the time, you know, it would have been like an Avatar expense of the movie, you know. So maybe in the future we might see a Halo movie, but I'm very happy to have this District 9. I watched it at the cinemas and I fully enjoyed it. There's a lot of funny scenes, it's gritty, and it's a very interesting take on like. Um, we're the bad guys kind of thing in this movie, I like the idea of that, like, we have a, an aliens, we just dump them in the just like District 9, we just turn like shit and vacancy of them, and just, it's done really, really well. Um, we have another great movie here, uh, Bala Los Angeles, which, um, again, I watched at the cinema, I thought it was absolutely fantastic, I really enjoyed it, I watched it with mates, and I just, I think it's a really good idea, um, it's the point of view of the actual soldiers this time, and, um, I think it's just really, really good. The acting is great. Um, the actual soldiers themselves, the mannerisms, the actual squads are realistic and done really, uh, really well. The actuals, they actual talk about all the actual real things they did. They actually did a full-on like training course, as actual uh, American soldiers would. And I think it stays true to what actual platoons would do, apart from some scenes, which obviously for movie value. But I think the actual um, aliens themselves are original, and I think they weren't really that much of a bad either. They're just they're after an actual resource that we have. We have. Uh, um, liquidized um, CO2 and they use that as of course fuel and um, actual to live kind of thing so there are species that just need to conquer and invade and it's just you know not too similar from us really I mean we conquer and invade other countries and and it's just kind of like a look at us and this could this is could be you know we could sympathize with this creature but of course we have to stop them and this movie is just really fantastic it's really high speed really good action scenes um, and it's just done really, really well. Um, um, I really enjoy this movie. I've watched this, I think, four or five times, and I think it's just really, really great. It's, it just does something a little more different than other movies. So yeah, um, about Los Angeles. I had like conversations with mates about like how they could do um, maybe like a district London or something, uh, bat battle of London or something along those lines, or. Um, you know, battle France because they could. You know, so this is worldwide. They could do like another, another, you know, point of view if if they wanted to. That's an idea there. 